Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. I want to give double honors to the, the elders of GMS, Great Millstone, who do rule well. It's been pushing this truth for 30 plus years and still pushing. Um, I want to say Shalom to all you Akim out there diligently pushing this word and truth and sincerity so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. Um, the name of this lesson here would be called basic scriptures are a stumbling block to most Israelites okay and that's just flat out the truth man and and you know so many examples um, especially over, over the course of uh, just this year so far um, have been presented you know that basic basic scriptures are a stumbling block to uh, most Israelites and when, and when I say Israelites um, I'm not just talking about the entire nation of Israel, I mean, which that can apply to to the uh, um, um, the entire nation, you know, because most of our people are into um, false religions or religions, period, you know, false practices and, you know, things of that nature. But, you know, this is mainly focusing on uh, Israelites that are in these camps, you know, even if you're not in the camp, you know, you're just out there teaching, um, you know, like I said, you know, there have been examples that, you know, you guys don't know, you, you guys don't understand even, the, you know, even the basic scriptures, you know. So uh, I'm going to go right into it. This is uh, the book of Romans, chapter 14, verse 13. It says, let us not therefore judge one another anymore, but judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. OK, and we're going to focus on that word stumbling block. All right. And when you go into that word, <clears throat> it says stumbling block uh, G. Uh, four, three, four, eight. OK. And I'm going to try to pronounce this Greek word here for stumbling block. It's um, pro, pr proskama, proskoma, or proskoma. OK. And um, it's. Uh, one of the definitions is um, that over which a soul stumbles, i.e., by which is caused to sin. Okay, that over which a soul stumbles, by which is caused to sin. You you, you see, and you know today I'm going to go into examples of you know some of these Israelites as I were teaching. You know even even some of these camps. You know. That are uh, uh, um, 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 teaching, but not but not by the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You see, because they don't understand uh, um, basic scriptures. You know, <clears throat> and um, first and foremost, you know, speaking of some, most camps, or well, some camps, um, you have camps out there. Uh, I'm not gonna name, you know, but you have camps out there that you know. I'm pretty sure your brothers are aware that teach. That uh, Edomites can repent, you see, and um, that's just flat out not true, you know. Once you read the scriptures, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty much simply said, all right. And I'm gonna go into it. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 16 and 17. It says, Least, and 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 this is speaking on Esau, okay. It says, Least there, there be any fornicator or profane person. As Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. That's right. You know, you can read about that in the, uh, the book of Genesis. OK. When the, uh, um, he sold his birthright to, to uh, Jacob. Right. Which is our for which is our forefather. OK. The forefather of the Israelites. All right. The so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Indians. All right. It says uh, verse 17, it says, for ye know. How that afterward. When he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. Okay? And and here's the key. For he found no place of repentance. You see? For he found who is that he who is that he that, that it's speaking about? Esau. Okay? For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears, you see? So Esau flat out just can't repent, okay? Alright? Esau is the wicked, man, okay? He's the physical counterpart of Satan, man, here on earth, all right? 
just like the physical counterpart of of, of the Most High Yahweh, right, is uh, uh, um, the Israelites here on earth, okay? The Lord has his chosen people, all right? And Satan has his, you know, chosen people, per se, all right? <clears throat> and then uh, next, the, the uh, next example is uh, the group uh, Adam Abbott, okay? Adam Abbott or Adam Abbott, you see? Uh, um, I mean, they're going off on a lot of things, man, you know? Um, some some of their doctrine is uh, uh, um, correct, you know. I would say uh, 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 most of it is correct, you know, because those brothers, you know, they they actually learned under the apostles of Great Millstone. You see, they don't want to admit that, but they learned under the uh, uh, um, apostles of Great Millstone. All right, and uh, uh, so did the uh, founder of uh, Sakari, but we'll get to them in a minute. All right, but. Uh, most of uh, Adam Abbott's uh, uh, um, 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 teachings, man, are pretty much off, you know, just like, um, you know, some of their uh, 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 camp members have, uh, you know, dreadlocks, man, you know, and brothers know by uh, uh, um, thorough uh, um, research that, you know, dreadlocks is a heathen, a heathen custom, man, all right, the so-called hand mites did that, man, you see, and the Lord told us in the scriptures, learn not the way of the heathen, okay, you see, and it also goes into uh, um, another scripture, Salaki. I don't know it off the top of my head. You know where it goes into uh, um, um, how even nature itself, you know, shows us that you know uh, um, a man is not supposed to have long hair. You see, uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, All right. But I but I wanted to go specifically into uh, Adam Abbott teaching that the mark of the beast, all right, is not the RFID chip. All right. And I'm pretty sure you, you brothers are familiar with the RFID chip, okay? It's, it's RFID is an acronym for Radio Frequency Identification Chip, all right? You see? But the scriptures don't say that, all right? The scriptures, the scriptures let us know plainly, all right? When you read the scriptures, you know, and, you know, you, you look at the RFID chip, all right? They go hand in hand, all right? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 17. It says... And that no man might buy or sell, all right, that's the key, buy or sell, save he that had the mark, all right? What is that mark? The RFID chip, all right? And you can buy or sell with the RFID chip, all right? Even, even now, you know, Esau's uh, 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 um, upgrading probably like, you know, every day or, you know, every week with this RFID chip, man, all right? And he's, impl and, and he's, impl he's implementing it. Into, in, in, into everyday society, all right? For example, all right, I was watching the brothers, um, at a, 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 um, their page is called GMS Solemn Assembly, all right? And you brothers can check them out, all right? I think it's uh, GMS Solemn Assembly 3, if I'm not mistaken. But the brothers at GMS Solemn Assembly, um, they had a, a posted a news interview, all right, with a, uh, a featuring a, 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 she, a Shedamite, a Shedamite woman, all right. I can't remember her name off the top, but um, she basically uh, um, did a uh, she sat on and did an interview. OK, basically put it out there and warning, uh, 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 warning the public all right, about the uh, RFID chip being the mark of the beast. OK, you see, and she actually writes books as well, adult books and children books. All right. Warning and teaching how the RFID, uh, 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 the RFID technology is the mark of the beast all right and 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 also she even quotes a uh, 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 revelation 13 and 17 you see all right let's go back to revelation 13 and 17 it says um oh also um you know i live here in a uh, uh, wisconsin all right and you know brothers know i think it was uh last year if i'm not mistaken how uh um there's a uh, company here in wisconsin um i think it's further up north um, there, there's a company. They basically had a, 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 a chipping party, man. Chipping for what? They basically had 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 a uh, an employee chipping party where employees gathered, all right, to receive the RFID chip, man. All right, to do what? To actually, uh, um, and, and you guys can look this up. You know, there's actually a a, a, a news article, plenty of news articles about this, all right. How 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 they gathered their employees up, had a chipping party for the RFI to, to receive the RFID chip, all right? To actually buy and sell, man. So like it to actually buy, all right? You see, I think it was something about the vending machines and 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 to also have have uh, access to the building that they worked at. 
you know, all of these things. These are all examples, you see, of how the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. All right. Now, let's go back into it. Revelation chapter 13, verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, saith he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right. And we know that that's 666. All right. You see. So. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. The next example <clears throat> I wanted to go into was uh, and I'm pretty sure brothers have actually uh, uh, um, heard of this. Um, what happened this year as far as the uh, the uh, so-called um, um, I don't I don't know what camp he you know, what camp he was a part of or, you know, whatever. But um, it was this uh, it was this guy. He's a sodomite. You know, he was out here, I guess he was out here teaching, you know, on the highways and hedges. He used to be a sodomite. He repented, you know, which is OK. You know, I mean, you know, the Lord, you know, uh, uh, um, poured his spirit inside of you, you know, found, found your vessel humble enough to pour his spirit inside of you. Give you the word. If you if you are humble enough to repent completely, I'm talking about, you know, turning away from your sins, you see. And, and it's a day to day fight, you know, I can. It's a day to day fight, you know. Now, if you would have turned away completely, you know, you know, he would have been fine, you know. But apparently, he, you know, he made he made a video, you know, uh, it was basically all over Israel, you know, um, about him relapsing or whatever, you know, going, you know, basically going back into sodomy, man, you know, going and land with another man again, you know, even even after receiving the word, the truth and the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you see. And, uh, you know, that's just flat out going off, man. That's an abomination, man, you know. You know, homosexuality is a penalty uh, uh, um, to death, man. You see, all right. And uh, his page, uh, formal for, for, former sodomite for for Yahweh or something like that. You know, Akim can correct me in the comment section. You know, um, <clears throat> but basically, you know, he was, you know, he quote unquote relapsed, like he said, and um, he was still out there teaching, man, still making videos, trying to teach, man. You know, and you know that's just flat out going off, man. You know. And uh, um, the scripture I have for that is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 and 10. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. All right? But, but so like it be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor, so like it, nor, nor ideologers, okay, if I'm, just, if I'm saying that uh, correct, uh, nor I'll, adulterers nor effeminate nor abusers of themselves with mankind nor thieves nor covetous nor drunkards nor uh, 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 um, revilers nor extortion extortioners uh, uh, shall inherit the kingdom of uh, of Yahweh okay all right but I want to go back into verse 9 where it says neither fornicators all right when you go into that word fornicators all right that's uh, the Greek word uh, um, 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 pornos all right which is where you get porno from, all right? Which is where you get the word porno from, all right? And that's uh, the Greek word. That's uh, G4205, okay? Pornos, all right? And uh, one of the definitions of that uh, uh, um, um, word is um, a, man who, a man who indulges in unlawful sexual intercourse, a fornicator, all right? A man who indulges in unlawful sexual intercourse, a fornicator, you see, all right, unlawful sexual intercourse, man, all right, it's not, it's not, you know, having sex with another man, it's like a, a man having sex with another man, is that not, you know, uh, uh, um, 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 an unlawful sexual intercourse, man, all right, is that not in the law to not do that, all right, let's, let's go to it, let's go to the book of law, it's like the book of the law, this is uh, the book of Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13, if a man also lie with mankind, all right, let's read it again. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, okay? So this is talking about, this is basically saying a man lying with the same sex, you see? A man lying with another man, all right, as he would lay with a woman, you see? It says, um, um, both of them have committed an abomination, all right? They shall surely be put to death their blood shall be upon them. You see, that guy's going to get put to death, man. Flat out, plain and simple, man. All right. 
these are the basics of the scriptures, man. All right, that 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 these Israelites, all right. Like I said, you know, when I when I say Israelites, I mean these people that are out here trying to teach. Okay, they just don't understand it, man. All right, they don't get it. You see. Uh, uh, last but not least, you know, my final my final example is um is a uh, um, a video that I ran into uh, uh, earlier today. I, I, uh, Salaki, I forgot which brother had posted it. Okay. Uh, I know I know it was a brother from uh, uh, the uh, Chicago camp. Okay, a uh, great millstone Chicago. All right, posted a uh, a, a video responding to another video that a you know s you know an, an Israelite woman you know a nigger woman made. You see, all right. And the only reason why I say nigger woman is because in the video she was teaching. Huh? You know she had a she had a channel set up. You know and and she was teaching for thirty minutes in the video. You see. And that's just flat out going off, man. You see, and you and you plainly and, and you and you can plainly you, so like you can read that plainly in the scriptures, man. All right. And um, my example I want to go into is uh, First Timothy's, obviously. First Timothy, it's uh, so like in the book of First Timothy, chapter two, verse twelve. But I suffer, it's so like, but I suffer not a woman to teach. That's just plain, man. You know. There's no, there's no, you know, a, a crazy, you know, deep breakdown for that. I mean, I mean, it's plainly said, you see. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man. Okay, by you teaching, all right. If a man comes across your videos and he's listening and learning, all right, you're, 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 you're teaching a man. Okay. You see, you're also usurping authority over that man. All right. That's going off, man. That's that that's just that's just going off, man. I mean, it's just I, it's really no way else to say it, you know, but I suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the men, but to be in silence, man. You see that? All right. Now you have you have, you know, elect women out there. You see you have you have you have a few, you know, elect women out there. All right. But they're not in the comic section, man. All right. They're not in the comment section, man. OK, giving their input on, you know, brothers uh, lessons and, you know, what scripture they're not doing that, man. All right. They're being subjected to their to 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 their husbands that they have, you know, if they have one, you see. And, you know, they're 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 a uh, uh, keeping silence, man. Like the Lord told them to do, man, here in First Timothy, chapter two, verse 12. man. All right. OK. And then and then overall, you see, Yahweh. Yahweh is only dealing with men to do this work, man. All right. Let me repeat to you women. Yahweh is only dealing with men to do this work. All right. To be his lips. So uh, uh, um, also known as his prophets. All right. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter eight, verse four. Unto you, O men. All right. Let me read that again. Unto you, O men, I call. And my voice is to the sons of man. All right. And if I'm not mistaken, when you go into that word men, all right, it's uh, uh, um, the uh, Hebrew word for that word men is a uh, uh, ban, all right, which means a uh, son, you see. So so even in the Hebrew, you see, it's still telling you that he's dealing with men, you see. All right. And I don't make this video too long. So I ended off with this. All right. It's the book of um, it's the book of Matthews. It's so like the book of St. Matthew. Chapter seven, verse fifteen through through uh, twenty, it says, "Beware of false prophets." All right. It says, "Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing." All right. But but inwardly they are raven. It's so like they are uh, uh, ravening wolves. All right, or ravening wolves. All right. And that's just that's just that, that's just a, a, a plainly said, man. You know. These false prophets out here, these uh, 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 false false teachers, all right, that's not teaching the doctrine and truth and in sincerity, all right, correctly, all right, they're ravening wolves, man, all right, which is uh, wolves in sheep's, sheep's clothing, if I'm not mistaken, all right, verse 16, ye shall know them by their fruits, all right, do men, do men gather grapes of thorns? Or figs of uh, of uh, um, so like it thistles, even so every so like even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, 
but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. All right? <clears throat> women, okay, so like it, women, you know, uh, 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 um, out here teaching, all right? You're basically telling Israel, all right, especially the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, um, sincere, you know, a uh, 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 newborn, you know, per se, and you know, newborn in the spirit, all right? Uh, uh, sisters out there, all right, that's coming into this faith, you see? You're basically teaching them that women can teach when that's not in the scriptures, man, all right? When actually the opposite is in the scriptures, all right? All right, that's, that, that's you bringing forth evil fruit, all right? Or bad fruit, all right? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bringeth, so like a good, a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. That's right. If you're teaching the, the, uh, the uh, doctrine correctly, all right, and sincerely, all right, then, then, then you're not going to bring forth uh, uh, um, bad fruit or evil fruit, all right? You're going to bring forth good fruit, all right? Wisdom, wise fruit, you see? It says of verse 19, every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down, all right? And that's what the Lord's going to do, man, all right? He's, he, he's going to put, he's going to place judgment on you, man, all right? And cast into the fire, wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them, all right? You're going to be casted into the fire, man, all right? If you don't repent, you see? Well, well, except, you know, some of you, like the woman, you know, uh, uh, um, I mean, the woman, you know, you could pretty much stop, you know, stop teaching, you know, listen, hearken to the voices of the men of the Lord, you know, and, 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 uh, uh um, um, read and study, man, you know, and be, and be, and be, uh, silent, man, all right? I don't know about that silent, my, that side of my dude is pretty much done, all right? But I want to end it off there, man. All right, Lord willing, Yahweh uh, Ratzaza, um, you, uh, uh, um, you sincere Akim, the elect. All right, the uh, 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 um, the lost sheep. All right, was uh, uh, um, um, edified. I want to say, call law, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakah Kodash Shalom.